Set up NordVPN SOCKS5 proxy warning and disclaimer please do not abuse this educational guide to download any copyrighted material on the web. Moreover, beware of pups slash adware when it comes you torrent, for Windows, BitTorrent, for Windows, Views, for Windows, and Skype, for Windows. You can set up NordVPN SOCKS5 proxy on various programs. Currently we have tutorials how to set up proxy on uTorrent, BitTorrent, Views, Deluge, and Skype. It's a great alternative if you wish to use proxy server instead VPN. All of our VPN servers have SOX proxy assigned to them. Here is a tutorial how to set up proxy on uTorrent. This is a tutorial to help you set up SOCKS5 proxy on the MicroTorrent uTorrent client. 1. Open your uTorrent client. 2. Click on options and then press preferences. 3. A new window pops up. Click on connection. 4. On the proxy server section choose the type SOCKS5. 5. For proxy enter one of NordVPN's server's addresses, that allows torrent traffic. The full server list with all server addresses can be found at, NordVPN server list at https slash slash nordvpn.com slash server slash. 6. For port, type 1080 and make sure you check the following boxes, authentication, Use proxy for host name lookups, use proxy for peer-to-peer -peer connections, disable all local DNS lookups, disable features that leak identifying information, disable connections unsupported by the proxy. 7. Type in your NordVPN username and password in the authentication fields and press OK. Congratulations! You have just set up SOCKS5 for uTorrent. If you want to check whether it really works, here is what you have to do. 1. Go to http colon slash slash ipmagnet.services.cbcdn.com. 2. Click on Magnet Link. 3. A new window pops up. Choose the uTorrent program and press OK. Important, do not close it Magnet website. 4. uTorrent will open automatically. Save the torrent file to your computer and click on OK. 5. The file IP Magnet tracking link starts synchronizing. 6. While the file is connecting to peer return to the IP Magnet website, a new IP address, the one that you chose, appears. As you can see, it is the IP address of NordVPN server which indicates uTorrent is downloading files through NordVPN proxy thus ensuring your downloads to be hidden and secured. Here is a tutorial how to set up proxy on BitTorrent. This tutorial explains how to set up SOCKS5 proxy on BitTorrent client. 1. Open BitTorrent. 2. Click on Options and then press Preferences. 3. On a new window choose Connection. 4. For type choose SOCKS5. 5. For proxy enter one of NordVPN server's addresses, which allows torrent traffic. The full server list with all server addresses can be found at, NordVPN server list at https slash slash nordvpn.com slash server slash. 6. For port, type 1080 as well as check the following boxes. Authentication, use proxy for host name lookups, use proxy for peer-to-peer -peer connections, disable all local DNS lookups, disable features that leak identifying information, disable connections unsupported by the proxy. 7. Type in your NordVPN username and password in the authentication fields and press OK. That is it. SOCKS5 proxy is set up on BitTorrent. If you want to check whether it works, below you will find the instructions how to do so. 1. Go to http colon slash slash ipmagnet.services.cbcdn.com. 2. Click on Magnet Link. 3. On a new window, choose the BitTorrent program and press OK. Important, do not close it Magnet website. 4. BitTorrent will open automatically. Save the torrent file to your computer and press OK. 5. The file IP Magnet tracking link starts synchronizing. 6. As file is connecting to peer return to the IP Magnet website. A new IP address, the one that you chose, appears. Here you see the IP address of NordVPN server which indicates that BitTorrent is downloading files through NordVPN proxy. This ensures that your downloads are hidden and secured. Here is a tutorial how to set up proxy on Views. This is a tutorial to help you set up SOCKS5 proxy on Views client. 1. Open Views. 2. Click on Tools and then press Options. 3. In the Mode section switch the user proficiency from Beginner to Advanced. 4. Now go to Connection. Note, 
if you are planning to use SOCKS5 proxy for privacy purposes then you have to disable features that would otherwise allow your public IP address to leak and for other peers to connect directly to you. In the peer sources section deselect everything apart from the first one from a tracker. 5. Expand the connection section to see more options. This can be done simply by double clicking on the connection. 6. Click on proxy. 7. In the tracker communications section check the following boxes, enable proxying of tracker communications restart required and I have a SOX proxy. 8. For host enter one of Nordvn server's addresses, which allows P2P traffic. The full server list with all server addresses can be found at NordVPN server list at https slash slash nordvn.com slash server slash 9. For port, enter 1080. 10. Type in your NordVPN username and password in the authentication fields and press test socks. 11. A new window testing socks connection will pop up. It will give you the following result, connection OK supported version, S5 press OK. 12. After the successful testing press save. 13. Close the options menu and restart views. After that, once you open views, in the status bar socks should appear with a green indicator which means that SOCKS5 is working perfectly. Voila! You have just set up SOCKS5 proxy on views. Here is a tutorial how to set up proxy on Skype 1. Open Skype. 2. Enter your Skype credentials and press sign in. 3. In the menu bar click on tools and then on options. 4. A new window pops up. Press on the section advanced, which is the last on the list. 5. Now go to connection. 6. In the field Automatic Proxy Detection choose SOX5. 7. For host, enter one of Nordvn's server's addresses. You can freely choose any server you like. The full server list can be found at the aforementioned NordVPN server list. 8. For port, type 1080. 9. Check the box Enable Proxy Authentication. Type in your NordVPN username and password in the authentication fields and press Save. 10. An information window pops up stating that the changes will be applied the next time Skype is started. Click on OK. 11. So now all you have to do is restart Skype and sign in again. That is all. Have a nice time using Skype with SOCKS5 proxy. SOCKS5 for Deluge can be set up following these steps 1. Open Deluge. 2. For Windows and Linux, click Edit Preferences, for Mac, click Deluge, in the menu bar. Preferences. 3. Select proxy from the category menu on the left. 4. For the proxy settings, configure the following options for each of the peer, web seed, tracker, and DHT sections, type, SOCKSV5W slash auth username, NordVPN username password, NordVPN password host, and l44.nordvpn.com. Just an example. All of the server addresses can be found at https slash slash server's port 1080 done.